to fall in love and out again. Do you ever really love or just pretend? Why fool yourself? Don't be afraid to help yourself now. Cause it's never too late, too late to stop. Look. And listen to your heart and what it say. He stop. Look. Listen to your heart and what it's saying. Love. 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 Oh, now we try. But we can't hide. All the things you really feel is the line that you should open up and let it in. Okay, that's enough. Listen, y'all. A lot of people, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, my lustrous, beautiful, wonderful family. Welcome, welcome, welcome. To the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. You know, a lot of folk ask me, what the hell is a Generation X? <laughs> they said, they, they ain't feeling it. What what the hell is, because, see, most of them go to, uh, I mean, not Generation X, I'm sorry, Generation Z. Most of them go to X, and they said they just, they done with it. I said, what? Okay, because you got some more coming if you make it. Anyway, who is this generation that they call Generation Z? It's a term used to describe Americans born during the late 90s and the early 2000s. Some sources give the specific age range of 1997 to the year 2012. Now, although the years spanned are sometimes contested or debated because Generation and their Zayat guys are difficult to delineate, okay? But Generation Z follows the millennial generation. That's what my daughter is. She's a millennial. Um, let's see. Who are these crazy? <laughs> this is what y'all need to understand. They follow the millennial generation, some call, sometimes called Generation Y, no, I think she's Generation X. I'll find out. Um, which followed Generation X. The first generation to be assigned a letter. Reaching the end of the standard Latin alphabet, Generation Z is succeeded by Generation Alpha. The first generation to be assigned a Greek letter. Wow. Members of Generation Z, or Gen Zers, have been undeniably shaped by the Great Recession from 2007 to 2009 and the COVID-19 pandemic. They grew up in the era of the iPhone. Y'all got to understand who these things are, okay, which debuted in 2007. And in the U.S. Department of Homeland Security, a governmental department founded in 20. Oh, two. This who this generation after the September 11 attacks. So, so most of them are too young to remember. So because of this, early names for Generation Z included I Generation and the Homelanders. <laughs> In their early years, they witnessed watershed social changes, such as the election of the first black president, Barack Obama, and the legalization of same-sex marriages. Generation Z is, in general, the most diverse generation of Americans to date in a variety of demographics. Nearly 50% of Gen Zers are racial and ethnic minorities, and one in four identify as Hispanic. Hmm. Generation Zers are more likely than previous generations to have at least one foreign-born parent, 
although immigrants make up a smaller portion of a Generation Z than the millennials. Gen Zers have grown up in a more diverse setting than did the previous generation and have higher percentages of single-parent families, mixed-race families, and LGBTQ um, as parents and parents in legally recognized partnerships. In fact, 16% of the Gen Zers identify as part of the LGBTQ community themselves, more than any previous generation. They are also shifting and issuing gender norms more than any previous generation, with more than half of Gen Zers saying that forms and profiles should allow for sex or gender options rather than man or woman. Let me say that again. They are also shifting and issuing gender norms more than any other previous generation, with more than half of Gen Zers saying that forms of profiles should allow for sex or gender options other than man and woman. Okay, so they want you to have more boxes. Okay. I didn't know that. Unfortunately, though, you know, you're either born a male or a female. Now, all that stuff in between, I know some of y'all mad at me for saying that, but it's the truth. You know, you can, you can, um, one thing I know about Satan, he makes evil fair seeming. So if I stick with what I know is true, it doesn't matter who, who you may have a, propensity to love doesn't matter who um, or what your uh, um, how you identify however when, when a baby is born it's either going to have a penis or a vagina it may be a homorphodite and have either one of the organs internal however it's going to be marked either a uh, male or a female. It's just that simple. Um, and that's just, that's just the way it is. That's just the way it is. Dun, 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 dun. Things, I mean, things they will never be the same. Anyway, research in 2018 showed that the oldest members of the Gen Z were delaying or perhaps even foregoing marriage. Only 4% getting married between the ages of 18 and 21, nearly half as many as in the millennial generation, which 7% got married at a young age. This may be partly because more of them are going to college. Gen Z is the first true digital native generation as opposed to millennials. The generation that lived through the rise of the internet while still growing up with cable television and landline phones, Gen Zers have lived their lives fully connected digitally. Most of them do not even remember life before smartphones. And all of them have grown up during a time with ambiguous access to streaming content or social media. I told y'all about that time I let my grandbaby look at an old phone. <laughs> and the, they don't even know what a rotary phone is I mean it's like a foreign language and that to me is insane because you know I'm from the trim line you know you know we thought we was doing something when we had the push button phone as opposed to that big old steel phone that would pop you upside the head and knock your brains out okay I I remember that big black phone it was so heavy, and when you put your finger in, fingers in a rotary, it goes. This wasn't even digital yet. Okay, anyway, enough of that. I know a lot of y'all remember that though. I bet you. The way they interact with the internet and with each other via internet is different from the ways of previous generation, whereas millennials went through an era a era of very open and personal posting on social media, deeply personal and public posts on Facebook, Twitter, and other blogs or blogs. Generation Zers have turned more t 
towards anonymous forms of social media, such as Snapchat and Whisper, which allow users to keep their audience limited and have messages disappear after the recipient views them. Mm, so they're a little smarter. Some reports have noticed that members of the Generation Z as more pragmatic and earlier to mature than those of previous generations. Gen Zers being more likely to graduate high school, more likely to go to college more, than more cautious in their career choices. They are more likely than any previous generation to have at least one parent who graduated from college. Um... Oh, wow, that's interesting. And they were found less likely to engage in underage drinking. Now, we're talking about Gen Zers now. And I'm sure this has got to do with the environment. Um, they are found less likely to engage in underage drinking or to ride in cars without wearing a seatbelt. This may be partly because of their being mostly raised by Generation X parents who were largely concerned with childhood safety. See how this shit works? Um, and each generation passed down their fears and their um, beliefs and their um, reservations, premonitions, and all these things down to the next generation. Another contributing factor could be that Gen Zers were growing up during a recession of 2007 through 2009. I remember that one. During which they witnessed adults around them experience financial trouble. Oh, yeah, I experienced a lot of financial trouble during that time. I lost it all. Anyway, um, and employment instability. As they began moving into, I was running my own business. <laughs> And, um, yeah, it was, it was difficult because I'm not one who likes to promote psychotropic uh, drugs to children, and I was in the wrong field, you know. But I didn't want to be back in the music business at all, under no circumstance. So this was another, um, uh, another way of doing something that was dear to my heart, but it didn't last too long. All within five years. Anyway, as they began moving into adulthood, Generation Zers aimed to avoid the that, difficulties that plague generations, including the baby boom before them. Um, so, when you talk about the generation, the Gen Zers, as they call them, um, interesting. They grew up in the digital world. So it's very difficult for them to relate to some of the things that we did. You remember we used to go outside and sit down and play rock teacher? And it's amazing because kids are kids. And it depends on where you... I took my uh, grandbaby out. And, all you know, playing rock teacher is just as... It's just as normal to me as jumping rope or something, playing ball, whatever. But it was amazing to me that my little, uh, again, grandbaby and her friends, I let them play rock teacher. And I was the teacher and, you know, y'all know how it go. And they were so infascinated with the game. But they, they wanted to play it. Long, I got tired. I said, no, that's too many times now, y'all. That was probably about the 30th time, I was like, okay, you know, that's enough for me. Now I don't want to do this no more. So y'all can continue to play. And I sat there and watched them. And they were having fun with a damn rock. So what it shows me is that if you do your job and try to infuse the old with the new um, and not be so stuck in your mindset, there's sometimes there's a lot of education and a lot of things that can be exchanged during that period. So they, um, you know, and, and, and it's real important that we know that. 
what they say the boomers were the uh, surge of births between 1946 and 1964 led to a generation that would change a lot. Um, so there's a lot of us, because that's what I am. Uh, you know, how, how, that's how they, they see that generation. Okay. But neither that, we're not talking about them right now. I'll come back later and do something on the baby boomers and the millennials. But with that being said, tell me what y'all think. Y'all got any of these in your house? Any of these things? <laughs> Gen Zers? No, they're, they're, I'm not going to do that. If you have any in your home, let me know. And... What do you know different about, what do you feel different with this generation, that generation, than the way you were raised or the way you came up? Let me know. I'm interested in finding out. Okay? And if you like what you hear, please subscribe and share the channel. And i see you out there. I love you all. And may you have a wonderful, beautiful Blessed day. Hug your children. Stay out of trouble. And don't let it find you. All right. Bye-bye. See you in the next one.